morning in Franklin. Thank you. Perfect. It was gorgeous. Nice breeze. Doesn't look like that now. No, I don't. No. <laughs> Say, for those of us that are in a room with no windows. We have no idea. Yeah, the sky cams tell the story. Dry downtown, but cloudy. Clouds have swooped in, and it is pouring in portions of Christian County, Benton County, Decatur County, all along our western tier. The rain cometh. So here's what it looks like looking north. Gloomy, right? Totally different than what you drove into this morning. If you were cooped up all day, you might even think I was fibbing to you, telling you it was sunny and pretty earlier. This is looking north towards the 65-24 split. No mischief with these clouds, but it's gloomy, and it's also just downright soggy in some spots. Hopkinsville, the rain moved in about 45 minutes ago, about an hour ago, and it is soaked, and it's just the beginning. Multiple waves of showers and some rumbles of thunder will continue overnight tonight. No severe weather is expected, but you may hear that rumble off in the distance. Hopefully, it lulls you to a good night's rest on a Monday night. Everyone's busy season this time of year. So we've got two areas of rain. There's showers and storms out ahead of a second line that is with the actual front near the boot heel of Missouri. This all has to cross our area, and it's going to take about 12 hours to do that. So as we head into the evening hours tonight, this first line will slowly move eastward, and then behind it, we get a little bit more energy. So that's why showers and storms will continue to be on again and kind of off again through the overnights. Some heavy downpours across still Christian County, over towards portions of Trey County, down into Stewart County, Benton County, Houston County. A couple rumbles here as you look towards the land between the lakes. But again, I'm not expecting any severe weather from this. It's been breezy today, just like it was all weekend long. So a couple of these storms might have some briefly stronger wind gusts with them, but that would really be it. Rain cooled air also. It's near 80 in Nashville. Camden, look, you just saw it change down to 67. When that rain cooled air comes to you, you can feel the drop. The bulk of the rain happens between News Channel 5 at 10 and News Channel 5 at 4 a.m. So this is an overnight soaker, not a severe weather setup, but a soaker indeed. And hopefully that helps your lawn, your garden. Things are going to get lush. It'll clean the pollen out temporarily, and then it all blooms again by the middle of the week. Take advantage. Here's what this looks like 8 o'clock again. Just some showers and storms churning about. Bulk of the rainfall shifts east during the overnight time frame. So the further west you are, the drier you get. We'll dry off slowly, and by this time tomorrow, it'll be sunny skies, really pretty sunset. Warming big time. Near record heat possible by Thursday. And then an unsettled pattern next weekend. Not nonstop rain, but let's be ready to put our plans on pause kind of rain. We'll talk more about that, Carrie, coming up. Okay. Bree, thank you. Well, no